Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about refraction of light through a prism. To understand the refraction of light through a prism, we first learn what is prism. Prism. Look here. A prism is a piece of glass. A prism is having two triangle bases. You observe the image. And having three rectangular lateral surfaces. One, two and three. One of the rectangular surface, let's say B, C, F, E is called base of the prism. That is rectangular base of the prism. The other two inclined surfaces A, B, E, D and A, C, F, D are known as lateral surfaces or refracting surfaces. The line along these two lateral surfaces meet is called refracting edge of the prism. The angle between two lateral or uh, refracting surfaces is called angle of the prism. Here angle A is called as the angle of the prism. Any section of the prism perpendicular to the refracting edge is called principal section of the prism. Now we do an activity to understand the refraction of light through a prism. First, for that we have to take a triangular prism, cardboard, a white sheet of paper, few thumbnail pins, a pencil. A protractor to measure the angles, a ruler to draw the lines. Fix a sheet of paper on a drawing board using drawing pins like this. Place a glass prism on it in such a way that it rests on its triangular base. Trace the outline of the prism using a pencil. Make its boundary as A, B and C. Remove the prism. Next what we have to do? Draw a straight line PE inclined to one of the refracting surfaces say AB of the prism. Now fix two pins say at points P and Q on the line PE. Observe carefully we are fixing two pins P and Q. Put the prism back on boundary ABC. Now what we have to do? Look for the images of the pins fixed at P and Q through the other face or other side. Look here. Now fix two more pins at points R and S such that the pins at R and S lie on the same straight line with P and Q. Now again remove the glass prism and the pins. Look here there are four pins. The line PE meets the boundary AB of the prism at E. Now similarly join S and R and make this line to meet the prism boundary AC at point F. After that what we have to do join the points E and F. 
by using roller and pencil. Now draw a perpendicular to the refracting surfaces AB and AC of the prism at points E and F respectively. Look here, in this way we have to draw perpendiculars to AB and AC. We are marking 90 degrees angles. Now draw the perpendiculars. In this way we have to draw. Name them N and M. Here line NE is normal to surface AB and line MF is normal to surface AC. Normal or we can say it as perpendicular. Here PE represents the incident ray. You observe carefully PQ is incident ray. EF is refracted ray. And uh, FS is the emergent ray. A ray of light is entering from A to glass at first surface AB. Here this light ray due to refraction has bent towards the normal. Angle of refraction. What is angle of refraction? This angle which is bent towards the normal due to refraction is called angle of refraction which is denoted by angle R. And uh, angle which is emerging from A to glass with respect to normal is called angle of incident. Angle of incidence which is denoted by angle I. Here you can observe angle of incidence angle I. And also angle of refraction angle R. It is shown in the picture. Now we observe that at the second surface AC the light ray has entered from glass to air. Hence it has bent away from normal because air is rarer than glass. So we get that there is emergent ray bent at an angle called angle E, angle of emergence to the direction of the incident ray. If the incident ray PE extended forward to the H and the emergent ray SF backward at K. These two rays meet at point G, which forming an angle, angle FGH. Look here. Measure the angle FGH. That is here 68 degrees. What is that angle? Angle is called as angle of deviation. This angle FGH is called angle of deviation. The angle of deviation is the angle through which the incident ray is deviated. Similarly, you do it uh, yourself. Please repeat this with uh, the different position of first two pins. That means by changing angle of incidence.